Welcome back guys to your 34th C++ tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to teach you guys how to use an array in calculations and it's actually a pretty simple program definitely useful definitely something you want to stay tuned for so let's go ahead and make an array right now um, let's call it tuna I'm getting tired of using Bucky every time and let's set the tuna array big enough to hold five integer values looks good enough and now let's go ahead and use an array initializer list um, let's go ahead and throw in 20, 54, 76, 832 and whatever this number is right there so now we created an array called tuna and it has five different elements or five different values in it so now what we want to do is say our boss came to us or our teacher and he's like build a program that calculates the sum of all of these elements so we're saying alright uh, the first thing we need is a variable to hold that sum and by default since it doesn't have any elements at first we're gonna set it equal to zero so what we could do is this sum equals oops, I tried to type Bucky again tuna zero uh, plus tuna oh, you know what I'm getting a bunch of typos and this is just taking too long not very efficient way of doing it although it would work so let me go ahead and show you guys a much easier way to use an array in calculation so instead of all that typing let's go ahead and make a for loop instead so now what we need to do is just like before find out which array indexes our array is going to need and just use our for loop to loop through those array indexes so of course as always we need to start at zero because the first index in every array is zero alright now let's do a little bit of thinking but not too much tuna holds five values so that means the last index in that array is four so if you write x is less than five what it's going to do is it's going to go from zero to four it's not going to do five because five is not less than five so now when we press x plus plus we now have a for loop that loops from zero to four so it's going to go zero one two three four those are going to be your x values so what we can do now is just use sum plus equals tuna x now what this is going to do is this the first thing it's going to do the very first time it runs the loop is going to say this all right x is equal to 0 so add 2 to 0 which is 20 to the sum now the sum is going to be equal to 20 the next time it's going to be 1 so add 2 to 1 which is 54 equal to the sum which is 20 so now it's going to be 74 so it's going to go through each of these elements one by one and add each value to the value of sum so let's go ahead and just print out this on the screen um, see out sum and line and now you can see a better idea of what's going on so like I said one by one the very first time it runs it's gonna add tuna zero equal to sum the next time tuna one equal to sum tuna two tuna three tuna four so if you add up all these values right here you get the value of one thousand five hundred and twenty eight so one last time what we did is this we created an array called tuna using an array initializer list that holds five integers one two three four five now what we wanted to do is we wanted to calculate the sum so we made a variable called sum and of course by default since it didn't have any value we set it equal to zero then we made a for loop using the value in here excuse me the variable to loop through each index of our array so it started at zero and since we know this one was tuna four that's what we put for here x is less than five and of course we want to go one at a time we don't want to skip you know this one and this one or anything so then what we did is we looped through each value and added it to the variable sum and then we just printed out some on the screen and that's what we got twenty seventy four one fifty nine eighty two fifteen twenty eight so that's a real simple program in order to use arrays and the array indexes and elements and values and calculations yada 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 all that fun stuff so now you guys know how to use arrays and calculations you're ready to move on to my next tutorial where we're going to be talking I'm going to teach you guys something else about an array that's actually pretty cool so don't forget to watch that tutorial thank you guys for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe